Good morning, good morning, good morning. About to hit the road in a little bit. First things first, got to get a workout in. I only got about 45 minutes, so let's get to work. All right, went a little longer than I wanted to, but it's all right. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. So let's go shower up and let's get to work, man. Let's get on the road. All right, what's up, familia? Welcome inside the big rig. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep it from the lines. Got your load secure. The sun is barely starting to come up now. It's cold. It's freezing out here. Damn, you know, after the workout, day and cold shower, but it's a little bit different. Uh, it's 25 degrees out here. Let me go ahead and show you guys the windshield. That's ice that uh, formed overnight. So, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get rocking and rolling. I did everything I needed to do, and let's go, let's handle. Let's mess up about the dirty windshield. When I uh, stop to put diesel, I'll go ahead and clean it off, but just check that out, man. Check it out. Right, right before the sun starts peaking out, just check out that nice, uh, that nice view. Man, what else would you rather want to be doing? <laughs> I don't know what you would rather be doing, but this is exactly what I want to be doing, homes. Check out the, there's, I don't know if you guys can see a little bit of snow right on the side over here. This is it, homes. Let's go. All right, familia. Welcome to Deming, New Mexico. Uh, I actually stayed here a few times. I like Deming, New Mexico, man. It's a... Uh, it's a small town. It's not a. It's not a big town. Not a lot going on. But you see that water tower. But I, you know, I enjoyed it, man. Just trucking it through here. Once in a while, I'd go ahead and I'll stay here for a day or two. And I liked it. town here in South New Mexico, both sides. I forgot the name of the restaurant that I would always go eat at, but it was good. I used to, uh, used to get myself some ribs. And like I said, I forgot the name of it though. It was right off the freeway. I think we already passed it. But, there it is. Oh, it was a Walmart. It's been so I'm not sure if the sun is bothering is bothering you guys but there it is man that was Deming New Mexico like I said I enjoyed uh I enjoyed staying there I always liked it very trucker friendly by the way all right so I stopped to put diesel and man homie Somebody has spilled a gang of diesel. So, but we're ready to roll out now. This is about to pass by. You know, apparently there's a prison 
somewhere right here. I'm right outside uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. I don't know what prison it is, but I keep on seeing signs where it says, don't pick up hitchhikers. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. If anybody knows what prison is down here, let me know, man. Again, I'm right outside Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'll be sure not to pick up a hitchhiker or something. Or who knows? Who knows, homie? Hey, you got some feria. <laughs> Alright, we're back on it. Let's roll. As you guys can see right there, the sign. Las Cruces. So, if you look down, right, we're coming down a hill here. We are entering Las Cruces. Las Cruces, New Mexico. I've never actually hung out in uh, Las Cruces, so I couldn't tell you guys much about it. There was always a restaurant that people told me, or drivers told me, hey, go eat at this restaurant, and I haven't got around to it. I think it's called, uh, damn it, something with a rooster. Roasting, roasting rooster, or something like that, roasting rooster. Something like that. But here we are making our way into New Mexico. I'm sorry, into New Mexico. We've been in New Mexico. Making our way into Las Cruces. Let's get into the city. Alright, so we just crossed the bridge, getting out of the outskirts and into the actual city of Las Cruces. And the freeway is elevated, so you can kind of get a good look. Um, you know, that's the city, you know, it covers a lot of ground. It covers a lot of ground. I don't know if you guys can see, but. Pretty much goes up to that uh, to that mountain, to that hill over there, and it covers some ground going down that way as well. I 
looks like this one right here, 478. Because as I look, I mean, damn, it does, uh, it does cover a lot of land.
kill the buzz. But here we are in uh, Anthony, Texas. Small town. Great American State Council. Certain 
feel, man, the atmosphere that I do appreciate.
right things are.
out of the city. It's all dying down now, so. There's some feed me YouTube videos out there. There's some YouTubers out there, man. I check them out every now and then that uh, that go through these, you know, starting problems, man. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty feed me. I like it.
take my lunch here. Shout outs to anybody who's from Van Horn, Texas, all right? But now, I have not been through here in a long time. But damn, dog, it just, it, it just looks like a depressing little town. There was a lot of abandoned homes. Again, I'm seeing it for the first time in quite a few years. But the last time I came through here, I saw them uh, advertising El Capitan um, Hotel. So, I don't know, maybe there's some new construction and all, but I'll tell you guys, when I passed through here quite a few years ago, population 2,500, okay. It was just a sad, just depressing looking town. A lot of houses with uh, with plywood up on the windows and uh, abandoned things. Like there's, you know, some little abandoned shop right there, but. hotels right Take our break over here at this uh, pilot. Damn, look at this. Everybody's jammed up to get diesel. fit right in through over here. I don't need to get diesel, so we're good. Orale. All right, let me back this sucker up and I'll take my break. So, Taking uh taking my lunch. Oh, There's this restaurant right over here. I um I used to stop and eat there for uh from my break. I like to walk around, homes, get the legs moving, you know. Gotta watch my step. back over here on the asphalt but um yeah i'd like to uh stretch out i've always said you know when you go if you're doing local driving then it's probably really not too much but when you're doing when you're long hauling like this every every hour Every 90 minutes, somewhere around there, 
I always pull off and I just walk around the truck, walk around the trailer just to get some blood flowing, man. You guys see all the trucks. And then on my um, on my break, I'll go ahead and I'll walk around get all the juices flowing you know so I'll probably do another lap and then we'll get back to it all right so as I'm walking you guys see the truck stop back there still stretching my legs getting a walk on looks like there's a an old abandoned field over here baseball feel I don't really like <laughs> I don't really like walking too far from the truck stop when there's like little small towns like you guys see right there cuz uh, you get into these small towns man and they know you're not from around there you kind of get <laughs> you become somebody like John Rambo right it's like hey you become a drifter, it's like, hey, we don't want any outsiders coming in causing any problems, man. Get the hell out. <laughs> but, look at this, it's, uh, it's an old baseball park. You know what? They might still use it. The reason why I say that is because the bases look, they look like they're taken care of. There's still a hose there. Okay. There's some nopales growing out right there. But. Again. I know it's not very well kept. But if you look at the bases, look. It is actually pretty feed man. Even the, the pitching mound. It's not up. There's really no, uh, it's not up on a hill or anything, but. Yeah, so they might, they probably still use it. You know, it just looks run down and all, but. Yeah, man. That's pretty free to me. All right. Damn, it's, uh, it's windy and it's cold. So, let's get back. Before we head back, just want to show you guys the stands here. Again, uh, yeah, I think they still might use it. Just how clean the bases are. The bases are very well kept, but everything else is pretty run down. But in reality, I mean, you know, what do you need, state of the art? Not nah, Charlie, homie. Just like the sand lot. And you just come out and play some ball. Let's go. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I hope they still do use this. And I would really one day love to come out here and catch a game. But, like I said, in a town this small, um, they know you're not from around here. And they might look at you a certain way and just, you know. <laughs> we don't want any drifters. All 
August 20th, 1983. Okay. We ain't want any outsiders. All right. Let's head back, man. All right. Break time is over. Took a little stroll. We are on our way. That was a that was a cool little um cool little baseball field, man. and cool the wind was starting to pick up a little bit which made it just a little cooler outside but that's freedom of dog much 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 rather have it like that i've been through here when it's hot child less dog the baseball field was down that way and down that way there is a few houses not many I like to, uh, I do like to venture off a little bit and walk around during my break in some of these small towns, but at the same time, you gotta be careful, homes. You know, I can understand why drivers, some drivers don't do it. Uh, there was a driver, this is years ago, I, I don't know how many years ago, but a driver that was, um, that was killed he went out for a walk um, I don't know what small town I think it was somewhere like in the Midwest or something um, and he got killed man he got mauled to death by dogs you guys gotta remember okay some of these small towns they don't have fences and um, you know uh, anything gates or anything like that so I mean some do some do but a lot of these small towns where you only got you know uh, freaking a thousand people living there two thousand people that live there a lot of them are just kind of like free range you know not a lot of gates not a lot of fences and you know this driver went out for a walk and I, I don't know if it was two or three dogs they uh they were out they were loose they weren't tied up you know it's not like the city when you're in the city right all of, you know a lot of the houses have gates and whatever man and have dogs tied up but uh yeah, there's that, uh, there's a small little town right there. Or the residential, there we are, I should say. Anyway, we're back on the freeway. So, um, yeah, dog, and a lot of these dogs, they know who's who in a small town. They know who's who. They know who's a, who's a neighbor, who belongs in that town, and who doesn't. And there were like two or three dogs, man. They, they mauled this dude. They, they, a driver, they killed them. So, anyway, that's uh, that's the town of Van Horn. I don't really see, okay, I think that's new right there. And when I say new, I, I want to make it clear, it's been years since I've passed through here. So, anyway, back on it, let's go. We're about to switch freeways. We've been on the 10 freeway this entire time and now we're gonna hit the 20. The 20 east. That's the 10 going that way. But now we're switching freeways. 
headed towards uh, Fort Worth, Dallas. So, here we are in Odessa. Odessa, Texas. Now, I actually kicked it in Odessa a few times. Um, if you guys can see the sign right there, Odessa population. Just a little over 114,000. Okay. I've kicked it in Odessa. Um, Odessa was somewhat made famous because of the movie Friday Night Lights. If you guys uh, watch that movie, Friday Night Lights, that is a badass movie. As a matter of fact, my favorite football movie of all time, by the way. There's some good ones out there. Uh, that one, to me, well, I don't want to get into it. I have it somewhere in my top two, top three. But anyway... Believe it or not, I actually came and watched a football game. Um, just like you guys saw in that movie, if you guys watched that movie, if you guys even know what movie I'm talking about. I actually attended a football game. And um, it wasn't as crazy uh, the way it showed in the movie. But obviously, you got to remember that movie was back in 1988. So, and when I went ahead and went to the game, I don't know, man, that's, uh, it's, it's been years, but, um, I believe they're playing against Abilene. Anyway, um, I didn't know this until I actually came to this city that there's another high school. I thought it was all one high school just simply because of the movie, but there's another high school called uh, uh, Odessa High School. And they're, they are the Broncos. It's a white horse, a white Bronco. And they share the same stadium. Because just like the movie, they had built a stadium away from the high school. And the teams, the, the both uh, high schools, share it. Now, if there's a third high school, somebody put my board, let me know. But to the best of uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's only those two high schools, Odessa and uh, what was it, Permian. Stadium for it being high school, it's uh, it's pretty badass. Now this right here, we're going through like the old town of of Odessa. There's a lot more. There's a lot more to Odessa up that way. You guys can't really see it. But when I say I hung out here, yeah, man, I did. I spent a weekend here. I, I went to um, to a Permian Panther game, football game, day one. I went to, uh, what was it called? Um, I think it's called Twin Peaks. It's kind of like a Hooters. I went to go hang out there. Mingled with a couple of the locals. It was cool, Holmes. I had a, you know, I had a good time here in uh, in Odessa. I like Odessa.
guys can see a little bit of the city that way, a couple of city buildings. Not all of Odessa looks like this though. Like I said, if you go up a little bit, it um, it looks a little different. Man, I haven't been here in years. I remember I went to... Uh, <laughs> I went to the the football game, right? And I was sitting on the side for the for the Panthers. I mean, for damn sure I was gonna do that, homes. And I was cheering. I was really cheering, man. I didn't see that the light turned green. Oops. There was somebody walking over here on my side. But uh, anyway, I was uh, I was really cheering. And of course, I didn't have any. Uh, I didn't have a jersey or anything to represent for the Premier Panthers. So I just had I just threw on a black shirt. Because that's their color. So I just threw on a black shirt and I went and I sat at the at the uh, the home side. For damn sure I wasn't gonna go sit on the visiting side and then hang out again. But uh I went and I was I was cheering, dog. It was it was good, good times, good times, fun times, man, fun times. And I remember, you know, I was acting a fool, dog. I really was, honestly. You know, there's certain things. If you guys aren't familiar with the movie, then you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. But um, there's a there's a part in the movie where. Somebody says on the radio, because I guess because the, the, the team is going on a losing streak, or they lost the game, I think it was. I haven't seen the movie in a long time either. But nonetheless, they're talking on the radio, and somebody says, you know what the problem is? They're doing too much learning in school. That they're doing too much learning in school that they need to pay more attention to uh, to winning some football. And I just thought that was badass, homes. I just thought that was badass. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Don't pay attention to your education. You need to be studying the playbook, homes. <laughs> and me, myself, dog acting like a jackass at the school at the at the school no they don't play at school they the stadium is um it's away from the school dog i mean it's you got to drive there i mean if you i don't even really remember how far it is but i just remember it's not down the street either it's, it's quite a distance but anyway um i was there and when the other team scored, I, I, it, it, they were playing against Abilene. I remember that. I just don't know what uh, what their mascot is or whatever. Everyone was like, oh, damn, boo, you know, and stuff like that. And I remember I, I didn't yell loud, but I said it loud enough. I'm like, damn, if they lose, you know what the problem is. They're doing too much learning in school. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times, man. Good times here in Odessa, dog. I would love to come back and watch a game. Go, oh, man.
gonna not gonna pass through any of that just because um, not hanging out here and I don't want to get too far off course city now like I said we're inching our way back to the freeway that's why I come out here and truck it through here once again Hans Taking my second break. It's got a little dog just running around loose here. I'm over here in uh, at the TA at a uh, Big Spring, Big Spring, Texas. Getting a lap in. Coming back over here where all the trucks are at. 
but I'll be jumping on the road right now and getting back to it. You guys can see the sun is starting to go down. So, let's get to it. All right, familia. Getting back to it. Let's get out of, uh, out of this truck stop. As you guys can see, it is starting to get dark. Damn, there's all the exits. Okay, there we go. the price at the Chevron over there it's 275 a gallon and 402 for diesel good stuff familia so that's it for the day it was a nice run nice ride and god called it a night and we'll be back at it tomorrow tomorrow is more like a half day because i'll be getting to my destination so should be good man so don't have to wake up super early or anything like that but with that i'll leave you guys there as always, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't always keep a safe distance. Blood makes you live. But loyalty makes you live. Until next time, this is Ed the Troll Trucker.